when we talk about what's next for them, they have a very young core. As much as I get on Jason Tatum, as much as I get on Jalen Brown, these guys are 25 years old and 26 years old. If you think that this is just their their peak or that they're not going to grow from this, I don't know what to tell you. Um, it just came out today in the, in the season-ending press conference that Brad Stevens will be bringing back Joe Missoula. So there's going to be a little uh, continuity right there. Um, but the big decision is with Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown has one more year left on his deal. I think you got to kind of keep this team together. Because at this point, unless you're going to rebuild, which kind of doesn't make any sense, because then you're going to be drafting players that you hope are as good as Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. You just got to stick with it. You just got to stick with it. I think these two teams in the NBA Finals right now are proof of sticking with it. The Denver Nuggets, they've done this. They've had this program for the last couple of years and continuously built it and built it and built it until it got to where it's at right now. The Miami Heat, the same thing. So I think you got to keep them together. And I think that everything they do this offseason – should be anchored to helping out Tatum and Brown as much as possible. And then uh, the rest of it is going to be on Tatum and Brown. They've got to take the next step. Jason Tatum has all the tools to be a superstar. He has all the tools to be one of the best players in the NBA. Now it's up to him to actually do it. It's time for him to change his game. It's time for Jalen Brown to learn how to fucking dribble a basketball. It's time for Jalen Brown to play better when he goes to his left. There's just a whole bunch of things that these dudes, because they're young, they have to work on. But if they stay together, I believe that they can get there. I mean, they've already gotten there. They've made it to the NBA Finals last year and just ran up into a dynasty. So I don't feel like you break this up. I think you got to have patience if you're a Celtics fan. You have to have patience, and you just got to hope it all comes together. Because if you look in the Eastern Conference and you just look in the NBA, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, moving and shaking. This offseason, I think you're going to see an astronomical amount of trades because of everybody trying to reset their cap from when the new CBA hits. And if you're the Celtics, you need to, it's going to cost you a pretty penny now. When it's all said and done, you're going to probably end up spending around $600 million to keep Tatum and Brown, but it might be worth it. It might be worth it if they can go out there and get that championship, but it's going to come up against what they're going to have to do and how they're going to have to go in their growth. But as far as the front office, I think it's a pretty easy decision of keeping this team together. Um, even though it's going to be a little bit more, a little expensive for them. Um, so, uh, I want to, I, I'm not going to say shout out to the Celtics because they're the ultimate, they're the second ultimate fuck around and find out team. The other one is the Golden State Warriors, but they have the rings to do that because they know that they can get away with it more times than not. The Boston Celtics cannot, this might be a good thing for them taking this loss. Now they can go back to the drawing board, um, and figure out what they can do to get back to the top of the Eastern Conference and actually hoist that Larry OB. Uh, once again, man. So, uh, 